my name is Janika and welcome to this vlog. Today we are visiting the biggest shopping mall of the Netherlands called the Westfield Mall of the Netherlands. This shopping mall has about 280 different shops, almost 60 restaurants, this social media museum experience thing, a cinema and yeah much more. It's a huge building. This is my first time ever visiting this shopping mall and today the plan is to spend pretty much the whole day here and explore everything that this shopping mall has to offer. If you're visiting the Netherlands and it happens to be a rainy day which is not very unlikely as Netherlands is the rainiest country in Europe then visiting a shopping mall like this might be an idea for you how to spend your day here. Getting here is really easy. The shopping mall is located in a place called Leidschendam which is in between The Hague and Leiden and you can take the train here to a station called the Mariehoeve station. So I have just gotten off the train and the first thing you see here at the train stations or one of the first things when coming out is this walking starting point. So if you see this, you're on the right track. It's a bit of a walk, about 15 minutes from the train station to the shopping mall. Let's start our walk to the shopping mall. When walking, you really don't have to be scared of getting lost because there are signs on where to go and where to turn constantly. So just follow the signs and you should find your way to the shopping mall. If you don't feel like walking, you can also take tram number six. It should also take you to the mall. Let's go inside. I have some things I want to maybe buy. I want to visit some bookstores. I need to buy a hard drive. I want to eat some yummy food. And then I have a movie I'm going to see. And I'm also going to visit that UCM social media experience thing. I've only been here for about five minutes and my first impression of the shopping mall is that it's really pretty. Like all the lights and the shops have been made to look really nice. I just bought myself two books. One was one I've been wanting to read for a while. The other one is a surprise. So let's soon open it together and see which one I get. If you're coming here with the whole family, here's the perfect place where to come with your children. Peppa Pig World. This shop looks so cute. Let's go and check it out. I'm usually not the person who comes a lot to Starbucks, but I must say this hot chocolate with pretzels sounds really, really good. Let's try it out. So I came to Starbucks to have a bit of a rest and a bit of a break from the walking and shopping. It's nice they have like this second floor and there's almost no one here. Downstairs was full of people but yeah, if you come here, check out the second floor of the Starbucks. 
I ordered the salted pretzel hot chocolate because it sounded so good. Got it still in the Christmas e cup, even though it's already January. But am I the only one whose name is always written completely wrong, even though I try to explain how to write my name? But yeah, I guess you can call me Yanida from now on. She wrote it as wrong as you could with a Y and a D. Let's try it. I burnt my tongue. It's really, really good. So lately I've been quite into reading and I bought this book from an author. I've already read her two other books called Conversations with Friends and I bought the mystery book. So I bought a book in the category Romance. Let's open it. I really, really hope it's not a book I already have. Oh no. <laughs> it is a book I already have. It's People We Meet on Vacation. I haven't read this book yet. But I have it. Back to the bookstore and asked if I could swap the book and they allowed me to do it. So I'm very happy. Let's do try number two on the mystery book. If this one is a book I own, I'm just gonna give up. But this time I chose a fantasy one instead. And it says a scandal magnet prince versus duty bound scholar. Interper interpretary war prevention. <laughs> Political fantasy romance. Sounds good. Ooh, what is this? I got the book called Winter's Orbit. like you can go to the next room through a tunnel. But I think this tunnel is meant for children and not adults. I think I'm way too big for this, but I'm gonna try and not die. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know if I fit. Let's try. I can hear people laughing at me. Oh my god. 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 Oh my
Papiano here. This is a pasta pizza restaurant chain that's super popular in Finland. But I haven't been to Vapiano in years. And we also have here Middle Eastern street food. Looks very interesting. Over here we have Wagamama, which is like an Asian food chain. But I've never actually tried it. So that could also be fun to try. Over there is Butcher's, which is like burgers. I've been to the one, one of the Butcher's restaurants in Amsterdam. But I don't feel like burgers. I think I'm gonna go for Vapiano. I haven't had it in so many years, so it'll feel nostalgic to come here. This used to be one of my favorite restaurants as like a young adult teenager. So this Vapiano seems to be super popular. I was lucky to get a seat. I ordered food and now I'm waiting for it. Here it works so that you order through using a QR code. The Vapianos I used to go to in Finland, you had to kind of wait in line and watch them make the food in front of you, at least for the pastas. I'm not sure if they still do that in Finland or if it's changed everywhere or if this is just the Dutch way now. Yeah, I have a nice view of the parking lot. <laughs> so beautiful. No, I'm happy. I got a seat and close the window. My pasta arrived. I got the fungi pasta, so a mushroom pasta in cream sauce. As a drink, I got a Cola Zero. I am now full and happy. Now, next, we are going to go and check out the cinema here. This game center here by the cinema looks super fun. Would be fun to visit, but I don't think it's very fun to do alone. There's also a huge cinema here. And now is to go and see the new Avatar movie. The first part of the Avatar movie is one of my all-time favorite movies. So I'm super, super excited to see the new one. I've heard good things about it. There was a choice if you wanted to see the movie 3D or 4D. And 4D is, you know, the one where you're moving and, I don't know, they throw stuff at your face. It could be fun but it's a three hour and 50 minute long movie and I thought over three hours of going like this yeah I feel like it would be fun the first half an hour but then it would get annoying so I chose to go with 3d which I think was a good choice because I also just ate something it's probably not super rough the 4d but still I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to feel sick in the cinema why is cinema always so expensive I bought one bag of brownie M&Ms and one drink for over eight euros it was almost nine euros Whew, that was expensive the guy checking my ticket seemed super confused about the fact that I'm coming to the cinema alone and yeah I don't know <laughs> is it that weird of a thing to do he thought it was weird but let's go and enjoy the movie this was the first time ever when I've had to pay for 3d glasses <laughs> Hi. the movie has finished it was really really good if you haven't seen the new avatar yet you should really 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 go watch it especially if you've seen the first one and like that one you will definitely like this one had a really fun day here at the shopping mall i definitely recommend coming here if you're in the netherlands and looking for a place where to come maybe on a rainy day but i'm gonna start heading home now it is almost seven o'clock as the movie took so long so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you did and i'll see you again on my next adventure bye bye